Hey, well, hello everybody and welcome to this CTFO webinar. My name is Adam Levy from Canton, Connecticut. So glad you could join us here today. Uh, we're gonna be going over the great new 14-day plan to a lighter you, uh, the new CTFO Keto Lifestyle Program, our low-carb lifestyle program. Um, I'm looking forward to going over some details, so let's see if we can share my screen and get this thing rolling. Get started here and uh, get into the, the crux of the situation. All right, hold on, we gotta make sure we can get this set up properly. All right, fantastic, well, great. Thanks everybody for joining us. What a perfect time of year. Um, wanted to wait until after Thanksgiving to do this, because let's face it, who wants to lose weight right before Thanksgiving? That's not gonna happen. But uh, you know, it's coming up on that time of year right now where people are starting to think about their New Year's resolutions and uh, you know what they'd like their New Year to look like. Some people even want to, you know, get into shape now before the end of the year. They want to start early. If you want to do that, that's great. I say, look, pick a 14-day period that works for you and get started. Uh, and we're going to make it easier for you with our program. You know, my background, real quickly. Uh, you know, I got involved in uh, going keto about a little over five years ago, and um, you know, it was uh, somebody that was. A little skeptical at first, but my, you know, my wife had lost some weight doing the same thing. She had gone keto and she looked amazing. And I thought, well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to give this thing a whirl. And uh, I, I was able to lose about 30 pounds in about three months, a little less than three months. And uh, I was really blown away by that. And it was something that wasn't that hard to do. Uh, you know, I'm a foodie. Uh, I like to cook at home. I like to go out to fine restaurants. And it was really important to me that if I were gonna go do this, if I was gonna live this lifestyle, that I could still be a foodie and I could still do those things. And I was really uh, you know, pleased to find that there's a lot of amazing things that you can eat by you know, just cutting out the carbs. And, and actually carbs don't even taste as good as you might think they do. You're just addicted to them. And I was addicted to them. You know, I grew up uh, in New York uh, on pizza and bagels and uh, for most of my life, that was what I survived on, you know, along with the rest of the you know, sad American diet that most people are on, um, the readily available carbs that are in just really everywhere. Uh, and so it was really nice to have that contrast and give up those carbs and really feel what it's like to be in ketosis. It was really a game changer for me because until you have that contrast, until you have that experience, um, you just really don't know what you're missing. You don't know about the, the clarity of mind that happens, the fog that lifts, um, you know, the, just the lighter feeling that you have, um, the focus that comes back, the energy that, that comes back. Um, and it, it's a really incredible um, contrast when you can finally feel it. And for our 14-day our program, it gives people enough time to do this in a way that in 14 days, they're going to know whether or not it's something that they can continue to do and to take advantage of. And certainly in 14 days, if you follow this program, your clothes are going to fit better. Uh, you're going to get a sense of what it can be like. And uh, you're going to be able to realize that, wow, this was the quickest way, you know, you, thing you've ever done to lose weight. Uh, the good news is that uh, I've been able to keep that 30 pounds off for um, over five years now. And, you know, people lose weight, but it usually comes back, right? And, uh, and so what I'm here to tell you is it's sustainable, it's doable. Uh, the food is amazing that you can eat. I uh, became a, a keto lifestyle coach. Uh, my blog is everydaykitogourmet.com. You can also follow me on Instagram uh, when I'm putting new recipes up there. I've got years and years of incredible recipes that are keto-friendly or low-carb uh, recipes that uh, is what we eat. I mean, this is what we do at our house. We like to cook, and um, my whole family eats this way now. And you know, here's the thing I'll point out, too, and, and I think this is important, is that, um, you know, it's going keto or going low carb is not just about losing weight. There's a lot of incredible health benefits associated with it. You know, my daughter, Bryn, who's 16 years old, does not need to lose weight. I mean, she's 100 pounds dripping wet, if, if that. And uh, yet she even, you know, tells me, hey, you know what? I've been eating like crap all weekend. Uh, I got to stop eating carbs. I got to eat less carbs. And, you know, for a 16 year old to have that kind of a, uh, understanding about how she feels uh, and you know how foods make her feel uh, and to you know pay attention to those details well of course not all the time but when she decides hey I'm, I'm you know going to clean up my car back 
um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's great to see that consciousness in somebody that young and somebody that doesn't need to lose weight. So she just knows the way she feels. And I think that that's, you know, I think what people need to realize and get that contrast and, and understand that it just feels better to give up the carbs and to you know, reduce the carbs. So we're going to cover some stuff today and, and give you some ideas of, of how this works and why it works so well. Uh, ketosis, I mean, if you've been living under a rock, you might not know what's going on. But for the most part, this is a, a big trend today. People trying to lose weight and losing substantial amounts of weight over you know, reasonable periods of time. Uh, and being able to keep it off by by switching their body's fat burning, um, you know, their metabolism into a fat burning metabolism, as opposed to a carb burning metabolism. And what it takes is a reduction of carbs for an extended period of time. Some people may take you know four or five days to get into ketosis. Some may take a week or two to get into ketosis by reducing their carb level to anywhere from let's say you know 30 to 40 net carbs. Uh, a day, uh, and the average American today is is doing two to three hundred carbs a day. So it does sound a little bit extreme, but it's something that can be done if you just know where the carbs are hiding, and they are hiding pretty much everywhere. But so you got to really know, and we'll give you some tools and show you how to do that. Uh, but what happens is once you've done that, your body then flicks a switch, and all of a sudden it does not have carbs readily available for it to run itself and for fuel and for energy. And then it has to go for the fat reserves because those are your two fuel sources. They're either carbs and or fat. Those are the two choices your body really has for energy. And if you don't have the carbs, what's left is the fat reserves. And we all have plenty of those uh, fat reserves. And some of us have more than others. Some of us have been storing up and have fat reserves plenty uh, for, you know, <laughs> for a long time to come. And it will take some time to use up those fat reserves. But you never get to access the fat on your butt, in your stomach, in your legs, in your thighs, um, if you have these levels of carbs in your system that are above 40, that are not, you're not in ketosis, okay? It doesn't, you know, you can try to exercise and do all those things, but what you're just doing is burning carbs when you do that. If you can reduce the amount of carbs that you're taking into around 30 to 40 net carbs a day, all of a sudden that metabolic shift happens and then you start to be able to access the fat reserves on your body. Um, and really what it all boils down to is insulin, the success of this. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a fat storage hormone. You know, when you take in too many carbs, insulin is surged from the pancreas and it's there to regulate your blood sugar uh, and it stores that excess, those excess carbs, and they get stored as fat is pretty much what ends up happening. Uh, and so what most people, most Americans, including myself, prior to getting involved in this lifestyle, is you're on this blood sugar roller coaster where you're, you know, you wake up in the morning and you have, you know, I used to have a ham, egg, and cheese on a hard roll, that big hard roll, and it would spike my, or a bagel, and I'd spike my blood sugar up to here. And then boom, it would crash down. And then what would happen is I would get really hungry and crave more carbs. And so at lunchtime, I'd have a sandwich or a pizza or whatever, and I would go back up and then boom, it would crash back down. And so most people go through this roller coaster all day long, every single day for years and years and years. I did it for, I'll say I'm, I'm 53 now, so I did it for about 48 years. Uh, and that is pretty much what my existence was at what most Americans uh, existence is. And, uh, and so you, you know, feel like you need to take a nap after lunch, things like that. Um, calories in versus calories out. Um, yeah, that's kind of important, but when you're looking at uh, you know, going to, into ketosis, you're not gonna be counting calories. That's the good news. I mean, let's face it, how's that work for you so far? but you're gonna to wanna to be counting your carbs. You're gonna to need to know those numbers so you know where you're at. It's really all about controlling that insulin. So today, I get up in the morning, I have my ham, egg, and cheese in the morning. I just do it with a fork and knife, okay? And so my blood sugar looks like this in the morning. And then at lunchtime, I have a, a, you know, one of our extreme shakes, only three net carbs. And so there it is again, my blood sugar is nice and even. I'm not hungry and I'm not craving all day long because my blood sugar 
remains like this all day long. So I don't crave it. I'm not starving. I'm not hangry. Uh, and I can easily get from meal to meal without, you know, uh, binging and craving things. Uh, and I actually have to remind myself sometimes to eat. I look at the clock and I go, hey, you know what? It's been about four hours. Maybe I should eat something. And that's a big difference from what most people's experience is like. Uh, you know, most Americans today, you know, they go from that one, you know, hunger to the next to the next like that. Um, and then at dinner time, I, you know, I have a sensible dinner and we just swap out the mashed potatoes for mashed cauliflower. And we do two greens instead of a starch. And, and that's what we've been doing for five years and it's been working extremely well. And it leaves room for things like wine, you know, there's five carbs in a glass of wine. And I prefer to drink my, drink my carbs at the end of the day if I've got, you know, five, 10 carbs uh, available for the day to get to my 40. And, you know, it's the weekend or whatever, you know, I'm going to have a, a glass or two of wine. I'm going to drink those carbs. Uh, so that's kind of nice. And again, um, you know, it's all about that controlling because if you see, here's the thing, if you can control that, if you can remove the carbs, you know, you've got a fighting chance of uh, you know, being successful in losing weight. But when the carbs are high, when you continually eat carbs, um, there's a physical addiction, okay? There's a physical addiction that it's more, more powerful than even a physical addiction to cocaine. And um, you know, with the physical addiction, and then you've got the environmental and cultural addictions, um, you know, those you can get through. Those you can, you know, you can handle. But if there's a physical addiction and a cultural one, you don't stand a chance. And that's why people yo-yo back and forth in their weight. Um, and they just, you know, have to go back to those traditional foods and things that they grew up on. For me, it's pizza and bagels and things like that. And, uh, you know, I still get to eat those things every once in a while, but it's not how I fuel my day and fuel my body. Um, and what's happened is over a period of time, I end up with this metabolic flexibility. And this is a key concept here that I want you to kind of grasp. Because um, people ask me, do I have to eat like this the rest of my life? Listen, it was just Thanksgiving. You know, um, I had some mashed potatoes. I definitely had some stuffing. Uh, I didn't eat the amount that I normally do. Um, but I'm not in ketosis right now. I got to tell you, I, I got knocked out. I'm sure I did. But because I have a metabolic flexibility, because mostly I eat low carb, I'm able to get back into ketosis within 24 to 48 hours. For somebody that doesn't have metabolic flexibility because they're just kind of toying with this keto thing and they haven't really kept track of the numbers and they're not really deep into ketosis for extended periods of time, um, it takes them longer once they get kicked out. It could take a week or you know, 10 days or whatever to get back into ketosis. Whereas myself, you know, if I get kicked out, hey, you know, on the weekend, I like to say the debauchery of the weekend happens, you know, by, by Tuesday, uh, you know, I'm back on track. And, and an example of this is, you know, I got on the scale today, um, you know, after Thanksgiving, after a weekend of, you know, uh, probably drinking too much and eating too much. And I'm still at the same weight that I was on Wednesday of last week. And I got to be, you know, I got, to, I got to eat some things that I don't normally usually eat. But again, because I have that metabolic flexibility, you want to gain that by, you know, keeping your carbs low most of the time. When I uh, go off the rails, I only do it for a short period of time, like one meal or, you know, half a day. I don't blow off the whole day and go, oh, hands up, that's it. I'm just going to eat carbs all weekend long. I don't do it that way. So that's something to think about. Uh, and what's happening is it's really repairing your body's ability to burn fat and, uh, for a fuel more efficiently. Um, and it gives you this little bit more flexibility. I'm able to add carbs a little bit more frequently today than I did when I started five years ago. Um, and I only do this once, you know, you only want to do this once you have reached your goal weight anyway, because anything you're doing to get to your goal weight, um, as far as carbs go, extra amounts of carbs above and beyond 40 net a day are going to just slow, you know, your ability to get to that goal weight. Whereas I'm at my goal weight, and if I fluctuate five, six pounds off of that, um, it's easy to go, you know, back down, right? What you don't want to do is hover up here, 
you know, where you are now or where you're getting started. You don't want to be hovering. You want to get to your goal weight and then you want to hover down there. That's okay. You see, I can still fit into the new clothes of me down here. Does that make sense? So um, I've, I've bought one set of new clothes <laughs> back when I lost all that weight and all those clothes still fit me. Uh, even if I, you know, add a few carbs back in every once in a while. Tips for getting into ketosis, you know, reduce that daily net carb intake uh, to less than 40 a day. Uh, know your numbers, don't guess. We're gonna give you some tools to be able to, you know, dial that in and know exactly what you're putting in your mouth. You can also try intermittent fasting, which is pretty uh, easy to do if you just don't eat it after 8 p.m. Uh, and by the way, it's easier to do this when you're in ketosis, when you don't have those cravings, when insulin isn't running your life. Um, so those 16 hours, you know, you, uh, you're going to do that from not eating after 8 p.m. and then you won't eat up until noon the next day, no solid foods. And that'll be a 16-hour fast uh, in which most of the time you were sleeping because your body actually uses energy while you're sleeping, believe it or not. And it's really those spaces in between, and we're going to talk about that. So this is a 16-hour period of time when your body is doing nothing but using energy, even if you're sleeping. It still needs energy to run. And guess where it's getting that energy from when you're in ketosis? It's getting it from your fat reserves. So uh, you, it'll, it'll accelerate you going into ketosis, and it'll accelerate your weight loss if you do that. And you don't have to do that often, maybe a couple times a week two times a week, maybe three times a week, you could try it. Um, you know, I do every once in a while. I just like the way it feels. Um, don't fear uh, fat, that's another one. Lean towards healthy fats. I'm always adding uh, avocado or olive oil to my salads and things like that. I'm not afraid of animal fats, I'm not afraid of fats. Um, you know, and that's something that, you know, you're gonna have to shift in your mind because for the last couple of decades, you know, you've been trying to eat low fat and, uh, the food industry has been catering to that. So you want to uh, you know, eat real butter and, and use really good quality fats. I use grass-fed butter, you know, European-style butters, things like that. Cook with coconut oil. Coconut oil has those MCTs for energy and satiation. So does our Extreme Shake and also our Keto Creamer, which we're going to be talking about. And exercise, if it's possible. You know, uh, move, you know, walk, uh, go to the bail box. Uh, clean the house, vacuum, do those kinds of things. Because again, if you're sitting on the couch and you're in ketosis, you can lose weight. You can get to your goal weight. It's just going to take longer because your body is not using up or not needing a lot of energy. Uh, and since you're in ketosis anyway, why not need more energy so it goes, you know, you, you use up those fat reserves uh, that we all want to get rid of uh, so much faster, right? So get some movement going. So just 14 days to a lighter you. This is a great guide. It's going to be a great tool. Um, you know, keto is a, a extreme buzzword. You let people know you've got this great plan. In just 14 days, your clothes are going to fit better. You might lose five to 10 pounds or, or more in that period of time doing this program. Uh, and this is a great guide that uh, you can download. I believe it will be part of the app, uh, the CTFO app. You'll be able to get it there as well as, uh, You'll be able to get it in your back office if you don't have it already. I know they're probably going to be putting it up this week. Um, the first page, or one of the earlier pages on this, talks about the three products that we have available. And those three products are, uh, you know, for this program, are the Extreme Shake. And this really sells the Extreme Shake uh, with the benefits of the Sensoral in there. And that Sensoral is, is so amazing with that ashwagandha, that patented, clinically studied ashwagandha. Um, that does so many incredible things for the body. One of the things that it's doing is it's uh, helping cortisol levels. And that's, cortisol is, a, you know, a stress hormone. It's why we store a lot of our uh, fat in our stomachs and stuff. And, uh, and so it's going to help reduce those cortisol levels. It's also going to help and aid in your sleep. Uh, Sensoral is an amazing uh, herb that will help relax you uh, and will help you sleep at night. And that's, you know, what's that worth? I mean, it's really tough to lose weight if you're not getting good sleep. And so you're getting a full dose of a therapeutic dose of sensual based on what the clinical studies were um, in every shape uh, when you drink one of these extreme shakes. Other benefits are the probiotics. You're getting a billion probiotics per serving. 
so that your gut flora is uh, you know healthier. It's feeding your good gut flora and uh, populating it so that uh, you know you have a strong immune system. Um, there's MCTs in that shape for satiation and for uh, energy. Same with our keto creamer uh, with the MCTs. Uh, tastes amazing. Uh, you won't have to add any sugar to your coffee because it's a little bit got a bit of a sweetness to it, a vanilla sweetness to it. Tastes amazing and it has tons of MCTs uh, and also uh, grass-fed butter in there. It's like a bullet coffee uh, and a, a keto coffee all in one. That keto creamer is amazing. And then the awesome uh, 10X Pure Ultimate Multivitamin because you need to have good nutrition, um, a baseline, a great nutrition. And this product developed by Dr. Robin Sika, absolutely amazing product, uh, is going to give you what you need to, you know, to, to give you the nutrients that you need to, you know, live a healthy lifestyle. It's as easy as a pill, one pill twice a day. Uh, that's an incredible product, and we did a re recent uh, webinar on that, so you want to catch Dr. Robin Siegel going over the details of the 10X Pure. But if you do uh, the 10X Pure multivitamin, if you do uh, those three products, and you do this for 14 days on a regular basis, uh, you're going to see that 14-day period, amazing things the way you're going to feel. And that's what this page does. It pretty much sells people on these three products. Um, the plan is pretty simple. You know, it's a nice little outline. We don't get into too many, you know, instructions. Uh, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all day. We give you some ideas what to do. Um, but here's the key to it. It's the spaces in between. This is the thing that's so important. You know, when you're eating, you're using the food that you're eating uh, for fuel, right? So even if you're eating low carb, that fuel that you're eating, that food that you're eating is what you're using for fuel right now. But it's those spaces in between. It's the four hours between breakfast and lunch, uh, or the four hours between lunch and dinner that you're not eating, that your body is still needing energy, even if you're just sitting at your desk, and it's going to go after those fat reserves. And that's what we want. We want to shrink those fat reserves. Uh, and so you don't want to be somebody that grazes all day long, you know, eating a little bit here and there, like, you don't want that. You want to have those spaces. That's really, really important. Um, you know, the extreme shake is a big part of it. it. Makes it easy. A lot of people grab those for breakfast. Some do them for lunch. Some do them for breakfast and lunch. Um, great to have the uh, ultimate, uh, the Canis Pure Ultimate Multivitamin and Mineral that kind of add to that. Uh, and again, the Keto Creamer, any time of day is fine. But, you know, in the morning is great. And you can just have a low-carb breakfast like I do and, and then, you know, pick a low-carb lunch. Yeah, those are the tough ones because you're kind of on the go, right? So to have the shake available and the keto creamer available makes that, uh, you know, easier. Dinner, you're back home. That should be easier. You have an easier time making better choices at dinner. Um, here's a, a great list. We, we have a green list, a blue list, and a black list of foods that you can eat, several different pages. Uh, this is just an example here. A um, couple of pages on the green list, and pretty much you can eat anything on this list. And uh, again, you're not counting calories, but you need to know the numbers for the carbs. So we've got a couple of uh, helpful tips on this page here. There's, um, I talk about becoming carb conscious. You've got a couple of apps that you can get. Uh, I have a, a, an Apple uh, phone, I have a, so I use the Daily Carb app, and that's an incredible uh, app where before something goes in my mouth, I'm you know all thumbs trying to figure out, okay, how much, uh, how much is this going to be? Like, what, how many carbs are actually in here? Uh, and, you know, you only need to do that for the first few months. After that, you pretty much know what the things that you like to eat and where the, the carbs are. And every once in a while, you eat something new and you go, well, let me see what's that all about. You know, you take a look. I've been doing this for five years. I don't usually go to the app very often. I kind of know where the carbs are hiding in the things that are around me. Um, but in the beginning, you need to know those numbers. It's so important. And by the way, if you are postmenopausal, I'm uh, sorry to say, but it's only 30 net carbs that you're shooting for. 30 net carbs, not 40. Um, avoid snacking. I think we talked about that. Uh, movement, mentioned that as well. Again, 80% of your weight uh, loss success is going to come from what comes in, what you put in your mouth. Only 20% is ever going to be able to come from exercise. That's good news for a lot of you. But again, if you want to go faster, move a little bit. Uh, we also have some incredible shake recipes, and, uh, and this is one of my favorite parts of this, uh, of this great plan here, is that you've got five pages of amazing extreme shake recipes that you can make so you'll never get bored. 
The reason why we went for vanilla was so that you could do so many different things with it. One of my favorites is on this page here, the orange dream circle. You remember those cream schools you had on a stick as a kid? This tastes just like that and absolutely delicious. You know, the vanilla for the shake, some orange zest. We put a couple of segments of orange in there, maple orange. And, uh, you know, it, it bumps up the carbs a little bit. Remember, when you look at these, you have to subtract the carbs, uh, the fiber from the carbs, and that's how you get net carbs. So with this orange dream circle, you would take off the, the nine grams of fiber, and, uh, and that's how, where you, from the 15, and that's how you get your net carbs. So each recipe, all those details were there. You just gotta do a little bit of math so you know where you're at. But that one's one of my favorites. It tastes absolutely delicious. Today I had one that was more like a dark chocolate shake. That one I use on Giardelli on sweetened cocoa powder. It's just amazing. If you, if you know where the carbs are hiding, you know what kind of things you can be doing, um, you know, you can have a lot of success. I do see a lot of people growing bananas <laughs> in our extreme shake. That's, uh, if you're trying to go keto, that's a bad idea. Uh, the two worst fruits that you can put in carb-wise are bananas. And I think the only one that could possibly be the banana is pineapple, those two things. So if you're just doing it because uh, you want a meal replacement shake, hey, you can put bananas in there all day long. But if you want to lose weight, too many carbs in a banana, even a half a banana, too many carbs. Anyway, um, but you know, there's so many things you can do here. There's five different pages of recipes. So it's been uh, kind of amazing, uh, you know, the results and, and the way that uh, this has worked and the way this has been sustainable. Uh, here's a picture of me back uh, about 30 pounds ago uh, when my kids were small. I think I must have uh, ate all their uh, macaroni and cheese when uh, they were done with it. I, I think that must be what happened. Um, but a lot of carbs there and a terrible combination of um, high carbs and high fat. And I'm sure I was doing a little bit of both of those. That's a terrible combination. And so what you want to make sure you do is, uh, you know, don't be afraid of the fat, but also, you know, make sure that you're down below 40 net carbs a day if that's what you're going to do. Because a terrible combination is high fat and high carb. Uh, so you've got to kind of pick uh, which way you're going to go. And I got to say, this has been an amazing journey. I've helped a lot of people lose a lot of weight. I've got some people that have lost over 100 pounds. Uh, and it's, uh, it's incredible to see that, you know, most of those folks have sustained that kind of weight loss. Uh, maybe they've gained a few back, but they're certainly a lot lighter than they were when they started. And they know they have this as a tool, a tool that they can use, uh, that's doable, that's feasible, and they just have to get back on track. And there are people that do, you know, fall off the rails every once in a while. But, uh, you know, for me, I just like the way that I feel when I've reduced the carbs. And I eat so well you know, without the carbs, uh, that it's not really hard to do. Um, and so, you know, get over to everydayketogourmet.com, check out some of those recipes, and, uh, you know, get started on this. Pick the 14 days that makes the most sense uh, for you, and, uh, and get started, um, you know, as soon as you can, and, you know, just stick with it. And you'll know, you'll have that contrast. You'll be able to, in 14 days, know whether or not this is something that um, you can finally get control once and for all over your weight and your health. Um, because I got to tell you, that's, that's something that to me is, has been incredible and watch so many people have such success with that. Um, you know, what would it be like for you if finally you had control over it? And it's not that hard to do if you've got some good coaching and you've got some good tools to make it happen. And we've got a program that can make it happen. So, Please do get back to the person that has shared this information with you. Get started uh, on our 14 Days to a Lighter You uh, low carb food program uh, that uh, CTFO has with these incredible products. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing a lot less of you soon. All right, bye bye for now. We're going to end this webinar. Uh, get back to that person that uh, shared this information with you. And we shall see if uh, you have success with this. I believe you will. All right, um, we're going to end this here. See if I can get out of here. Okay, fantastic. All right, everybody, thank you for joining us on the webinar tonight. We appreciate it. Hopefully, this has been helpful for you. And, um, you know, you guys have a great holiday season. I know that a lot of people will be sharing this video uh, right here around the, the first of the year. 
Um, we've got an incredible program for people to have a lot of success with. So with that, I want to thank you all for being on the webinar. Everybody have a great, great uh, evening. And uh, from wherever you are, bye-bye for now.